Hey everyone, welcome back to the uh, second episode here of my podcast, my daily devotions that we're doing. Today's devotion, uh, we're going to be looking at uh, a book by Alvin Vandergreen. I probably am slaughtering his name, but uh, the book is called Love to Pray. And so week one is uh, where we're going to be tackling and day one, there's 40 in here, but uh, we'll tackle this over over a number of weeks, and I'll have other episodes uh, spaced in between them. Uh, today's episode is going to be about what's the good of prayer. So friendship with God is is one thing that is good with of prayer. Uh, and they use the verse Psalm 16.11 to reference this. And that is, You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Human beings are created to live in fellowship with God. We are meant to have and to enjoy life in relationship with God. Without this relationship, we are like the branches cut off from a tree, like toasters not plugged in. <clears throat> you can see this kind of starting already in Genesis when uh, you know Adam and Eve had that really close relationship with, with God. Um, before they both sinned. Prayer is the way we get in touch with God and the way we keep in touch with Him. I used to think of prayer as a spiritual exercise, a discipline that had to be worked at. Through the years, however, God has taught me to see it more and more as the talking part of a relation, of a friendship. One of the early church fathers called it keeping company with God. I like that. Several years ago, As I tried to define prayer, God led me through a series of steps. At first, I thought of prayer simply as talking with God. Then the idea of relationship emerged, and I began to see that prayer is the talking part of a relationship with God. Months later, my definition changed again. I began to understand that prayer is the talking part of a love relationship with God, but there was still more I had to learn. I came to see that prayer was the talking part of the most important love relationship in our lives. With that addition, I thought that I finally had it, but some years later God added one more element. Then the definition, a definition that I still live with today, came out as prayer is the conversational part of the most important love relationship in our lives, our love relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Sometimes people ask how much time we should try to spend in prayer each day. I used to suggest that 20 minutes of formal prayer a day was a minimum. I reinforced that by reminding them of the many things that need to be included in a prayer. And then I added that 20 minutes a day was only about 2% of our waking hours each day. Now when people ask about the time they should spend in prayer, I simply tell them they should spend enough time to build a good relationship And considering that the relationship we are talking about is life's most important love relationship that means plenty of time. What does God do for those who relate to him in love? The psalmist put put it well when he said, You will fill me with joy in your presence and the eternal pleasures at your right hand. What's the good of prayer? Just this. It helps us to grow into and live out of that most important of all love relationships. But of course, it's only as good as we make it. So what good are you making of it? Reflect. What can your prayer life tell you about your love relationship with God? What more could you do to deepen the friendship, your friendship with God? Pray. Praise God for his love and for his readiness to have a love relationship with you. Ask God to strengthen your prayer life and deepen your relationship with him. Ask God to fill you with joy in his presence and to give you eternal pleasures at his right hand. Thank God for his generosity in making these gifts available. Finally, act. Intentionally set aside some time to spend with God. Do some relationship building things with Him during that time. Write down the three most important things that you got out of your time with God. 
So one thing I like to make sure I do when I'm when I'm praying is I always try to do the uh, final point there, the thank. Um, as I I try to thank him for at least one thing in every time that I am sitting there and praying. And I don't necessarily set out like a specific time every day. Um, I do think that would probably be helpful and something maybe I should work towards um, as I grow with in my relationship with God. But uh, I do pray throughout the day and uh, it doesn't matter where I am you know you just if you feel like you need to pray about something you just stop and you pray and and that's that's one thing I definitely try to do throughout the day whether it be for myself or for other people and and again include that praise and and thankfulness in every single prayer time as it's really really important to thank God for all that he has done for us because he does things that we don't even comprehend or even recognize um and and he just you know especially here in Canada we are so blessed in our lives in terms of in terms of what we all have um, you know some of our poorest people are still richer than the than uh, the people who wouldn't become be considered impoverished in places like Africa so we can always find something to be thankful for um, with God and it's really really important in our relationship and even in your own life to just focus on on the positives and and not just on the negatives so praying praise and thankfulness is definitely huge and and i really really appreciate that this author has has put that in into this because yeah it is very very important in in our own lives as well as in our relationship with with god to to be thankful and uh that uh that is uh, definitely one thing, and prayer is, is definitely a huge, huge part of a relationship with God, because without prayer, you know, that's that's the way we communicate with God. That's the way we talk, and yes, God knows our thoughts, but um, it's it's good for us to to recognize these things within our own minds, instead of just relying on God to to read our minds. Uh, so that's my episode for today. Thank you all for tuning in, and. Um, you can uh, hit the little like, share, and subscribe button if you're on YouTube. And uh, please do share the importance of prayer with other people. And remember to stop and pray throughout the day. Thanks, everybody.